Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing fine wherever you are around the globe. Uh, yes, uh, for the new subscribers, I'm Kwamawit. I'm right now coming live from a wildlife service office in northern Baragazali states. I have paid a visit here to come and see the animals which they have here, guys. You know very well, I love animals. Wherever I go, I used to visit where animals are so that I can cover them and see how they are mingling with people around yes come along with me as you will see a lot of animals in these big institutions the big honor of South Sudan and particularly Northern Baragazali State you know wildlife service is the great institution we serve the country in several dimensions yes this is just the drawing on their fence, you can see how they have draw everything here. That one there is cobra, which that officer is standing uh, beside it. It is just a draw. And this one here is a rhino. You can see, guys, how well they are draw here. The pictures can just tell that this one here is wildlife service institution, guys. You can see uh, the officers there and the pictures on the walls here. You know. I'm very, very impressed. I'm impressed actually by all these things you see on this wall here. Before I entered inside, we are going to get more animal there and you will see it. Watch the video to the end, guys, and you will see a lot, a lot, a lot of things here. You know, you will see a lot of things here. That one there is antelope. That one there is antelope. There are so many animals here. There are so many animals which they have draw here. And you know, here in northern Baragazal, it is like they have more game packs. They have more game pack, and uh, I'm told in that game pack there are a lot of Chitex. animals there. You can see that Chitex, I think, and the lion draw there. Yeah, those those uh, game packs within northern Baragazal states here. I'm told there are more animals there, but I do not visit. I think I will visit one day, one time. So that I can go and see the animals which we have, you know. It is good to portray the good things you have in your home country so that others can see it. You never know, maybe others interesting people from other worlds will come and visit this part of the world for them to see these interesting things here, you know. Yeah, I'm now inside the compound. I'll be moving around here to see where they have put the animals in different places and you will get to know them here guys they have a very very good animals around here and I'm going to see them one by one and I hope you will enjoy seeing them guys yeah so come along with me as I'll be covering uh, the animals here guys I'm very pleased to the administrations of these institutions for giving me a go ahead to move around here to see the animal. In fact, this is my first time to visit these institutions and also to come and take videos as I'm taking now and then I go and share it with other brothers and sisters around the globe, guys. So you can see one of this animal here, this monkey, very, very good monkey. I'm here chatting with it. You know, he's speaking uh, groundnuts. He's speaking groundnut here. You know, I, I, I didn't know I didn't know monkey can eat groundnut as such, you know. Very, very friendly one. The, the groundnut were on my hands, but it was speaking it and peel it direct there. You know, it is very, very friendly animal. Look, look at it now, guys, with, with the officer there, you know. He's speaking groundnuts and eating it comfortably without any fear. You know, we need to be together with animals, be friends and all those sort of things as you can see here. I'm glad the way they are make to be friends with people around here is a very very good one they are not harmful at all they are not harmful you see them here and there are people around here and they don't even go about trying to cause trouble to people who are here looking after them guys so it is what it is my people it is what it is around here this uh, officer is taking me around you know it's taking me around to show me where they have put uh, different animals you know they don't put them in one place when they put them in one place maybe they will harm themselves there are other weak predators which are bats to be put together in other animals 
right now we are going to see where they are put the crocodile but they told me at night or even when people are not here crocodile used to come out to rooms around here sometimes when it gets these animals closer to, uh, to, to it maybe it can temper with them but they have isolated it somewhere they have isolated it somewhere and it is where there is enough water there it drift down and when it see people it just come out to see who are people around it's here you know that's that's the office you can see guys how well it is constructed the office here it is well constructed uh, it, it looks like a double storage i think it is a double storage office you can see the writings on the office there it is wildlife service northern Baragazal state office you know so i'm very pleased with the way these people are taking care of our of our animal here I wish it is done like this in other parts yeah, of South Sudan. This one here is porcupine, baby porcupine guys. Baby porcupine can also eat groundnut. Can eat groundnut faster more than animals even. We help to peel, but it like he's not picking what we are peeled. He's picking the, the, the ones inside whatever. And it, it peels it on its own, you know. No, it is a steel baby. It is a steel baby porcupine. You can see. Steel baby and looks, it looks very, very cute, guys. It looks very cute. And it is well fed. You can see it is well fed, actually. They have taken good care of it here. And I'm so pleased with the, the people for this great work they have done here. No porcupine is there. Small porcupine. It's a baby porcupine, let me say. It's actually a baby porcupine. No. It also used to eat that pumpkin. There's pumpkin there. It also used to eat it. And also it eats nymphs leaf. It also eats uh, that wild uh, onions. It's what we call wild onion. It's what calls wild onions. It, it is it favorite also. Guys, that, that one there is the head of crocodile. That one there is the head of crocodile. It is down there. I think next, I, I did not come with the meat, but next time I will come with the meat so that I can put it outside for it to come out, you know. Now it just popped up to see us and it went down because it did not see the meat, you know. I'm sorry for that, but maybe next time and anytime soon I will come there with the meat actually to go and give it to that crocodile. I like it so much. Still, I'm still with this baby porcupine, you know. I'm impressed by the way it eats groundnuts here, guys, you know. It eats groundnut gently. It did ground it gently and so so nicely. Someone is closer to it, but he doesn't mind. He's eating, you know, without fear and anything. Very closer. People used to say when you go closer to this, whatever, it will peer you. It will peer you with this, whatever. With this, uh, I don't know how they call it, thorns or something. And I don't know how they call it, you know. But someone told me that this one here, it doesn't harm people. It is when someone moves move closer to it, that is when it fear people. But it doesn't release this weapon of it here. You know, behind there, there is something like whistle, whistle. There is whistle. I think you can hear, let me just be silent and you will hear it, guys. This one here is the monkey. It's also eating groundnut faster even. With two hands even. With two hands, imagine. This monkey is very funny. What it used to do, it put groundnut in the mouth. All it put it there, but it feel it from the mouth. Very expert and very fast human. I like to interact with this animal, guys. I'm actually pleased to share this movement with this wonderful animal right here. Giving it groundnut and he's picking it. Picking it, you know. He's here with the brother. They are here with the brother, picking groundnuts, you know, and filing it without any fear. That is it. We need to be friendly with animals so that they cannot run away from us. There are so, so many friendly animals, friendly animals in the forest, so we need to bring them to one place so that others, children who doesn't see them, and maybe they see them in the pictures, could just come and see them physically, you know, in one place. The game parks are not near here, they are very far from here, but I think after some time, people will be going there to go and see all different types of animals, animals, 
around there. See, it is very, very wonderful, guys. Very, very wonderful and so amazing. So amazing. You know, it picks it on its own. It picks guinnets on its own. There is other monkey here which will quarrel later when, when guinnets are not given to it. It will quarrel, it will uh, I jump up and down, be, trying to go and get ground up. Yes, uh, guys, if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe, click like and share the video. Let more people get it, guys. Share the video. Now go on the other side. I think it is good with the light. Yes, just come there. Yes, then let's go. Yes. Those are the drawings yeah. <laughs> on the wall fence of wildlife. Obviously, northern Bargazali Street. These people working with me are the officers who works here. It took me around to take pictures of all the animals which they have here. Yeah, it is very, very amazing, guys, to be here. I will ask one of them to introduce himself so that you can know him. Yes, maybe when you come next time, you will get him and he will take you around so that you can see all things you have seen here. You know? Yeah, you know, I will ask you to introduce yourself to the viewers of Komawit. Um, yes, can um, you briefly introduce yourself? I'm um, uh, second uh, LT Daniel Dengangok. I'm working here as an officer in wildlife services of Northern Bangladesh. That's very good. Are you an uncle? Uh, I'm not a soul. 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 Okay. Uh, well, sir, I, I just said things like with the fire are all done. Who are like a beggar, you are a mook. You're quite a mook. You're a mook. You're a mook. You're a mook. Can, may I know why in Chicago Ben you tell me? Uh Tabanta Ragrelton to cake uh covers for regular meat for the jam I to when you're going to cover the book. Uh when you lay look at my big rail then uh in long out over as a little go wrong, mm big on a cheat, the two good thing I can a game reserve. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. ไล่กับเรื่องที่นี่ได้ไล่กับเรื่องที่นี้โอเคคุณเลยเป็นอะไรต่อโอเคเรื่องบาร์นามิบีซูจัลกุยเอ่อวิจารีได้หรือจีน
Aduk. Jalan ke nama. Okay. Bukanya lah. Kita ini agak. Agak kiri. Anak agak farm. Kena agak agak man Maria. Cik suruh suruh rakti. Okay. Oh, anak agak wait wait Maria. Ini syarga. Selain dengan apa? Kula rambut. Kula bengit. Kena syarga na semal dah. Kajal time. Siapa nak bukit? Kula ikut tercium. Kau mesti dia ramai yok. Ata unta rinyel, nyar, enrau, segala. Nampak belum wan ker? Lai kau juga pay. Ata tunda. Ya kerja okay. Alang tun kau mai kuaji ini sih na. Jadi unta nyang ata wir. Yes. Cukai juga. Gok warna agok. Tapi ana muka kat atas tun. Lai juga pay kat atas tun, muka kat atas tun. Segala en. Kaya dah tu, jalan landai jual per, rel kedang kau, rel aman sih, agak tu pun. Tapi an lay tu ka, si nyang men ben, si nyang cam. Okay. Wajib lay tu zaman tu, kau ni. Atel atel di cik di cik run karu jalan. Okay. Ya, the officer is explaining the 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 animals they have here, how they had been looking after them and the challenges facing the animals here and he also said they have more animal <coughs> in, uh, in 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 the in the parks in different locations within i will hear and he said maybe after some time they will go to the park to bring some animals within the towns here so that people could come and see them especially uh kids especially i mean uh, students and pupils they will come and see, they will learn about animals in the school and they may come and see the animal physically in this year. So he said at the moment it is in plants and soon they will bring animals, more animals here and they will be with them here. He said before they were here but they took some animals to other places which are a bit so bigger, you know. That's what he is saying, I think. He's also very happy and he said he, he, they, they welcome everyone who want to come and see and spot here and take some pictures and they are ready to take people around so that they can take some pictures and take the videos to other places so so that people can see it, you know. That's what he is explaining here, guys. Any message? เออเนี่ยมันชิมกี่ดีกว่าดูเคเคนเดบันเนี่ยเป็นดูมาดูเต็มร้านนู้มีที่เดียร์มันที่มีชิลไล่บ่ายเป็นเต็มกว่าปี
put the comments of if, if there is anything you would like to donate to these people guys <coughs> donate it to them i'm very close to them just write anything on the comment section i will come and pass the message to them if there is anything you would like to donate to them anything you want to give to them so that they can support this animal they have here kindly write it in the comment section i'll connect you to the officer in charge and your uh, donations will go to them direct your donation will go to will go to them direct you know I have been here for quite a longer time in Northern Bar Ghazali State, but I do not want the one time plan to come and see these wonderful things here. I'm really amazed by the wonderful work this, which these people are doing here. The animals they have, they are well protected, and they used to give them a lot of things, you know. So thank you very much for watching.